One hard-hitting question. Might as well get that one out oh, of the boy. way. When you go to dinner with Tony Romo, does he predict what you're going to order? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like he, he, crab cakes. Uh, He's going good. crab cakes. You know, I, how about giving me a little credit for predicting that Tony was going to play in a PGA Tour event? I mean, I got a lot of flack for that. I made a comment a few weeks ago in Orlando at the PGA show that Tony, in the next two months, would be playing in a PGA Tour event. So I heard about it uh, for how a long time. How serious is he? So he came out yesterday, you know, that he's playing yeah. in an event in March. Wait a minute. How about a round of applause? Yeah, thank you. Him. Thank you. No, golf, that's, golf applause. That's golf. how it – yeah, yeah. tone it down just a little bit. It was, it was, it was for birdie, not eagle. Okay. Um, but, you Get know, you, 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 sometimes, you know, we're all guilty of this. Uh, you know, there's something that's uh, said or written about you, or we say something on the air, and there's where's the follow up? You know, like, yeah. like so I heard for two weeks, what you said, what he's going to play in a tour event, and now he's going to play in a tour event. I haven't heard from anybody. So, except of course Tony, who's my guy, and I'm I'm thrilled for him. You've, and you've heard from us. I have. That we've, was very nice. We've spoken. Very, we very. Well. But how serious is Romo about playing golf? Oh no, it's uh, it's uh, something that. Uh, he thinks about it a lot more as far as playing than I do. I mean, he's got serious game. I played with him a couple of days ago. Would he give up his day job? He's not there yet. I mean, no, and he's not. Could there he yet. get could, there? He could potentially get there. Okay. It's a hard thing. He's going to be 38 in, in in April. It's not like he's 22. In the back. And he's got back issues. Yeah. But he one thing that really helps him a lot is that he plays with Jordan Spieth. He's playing uh, with all these guys that are there in in the, in the Dallas area. Uh, Will Zalatoris is a decorated amateur, just turned pro. He's playing with uh, this week at Pebble Beach. So he sees what that looks like, and he can kind of keep up with them. It's not that he's beating them, but he sees what it takes, and he's got the shots. So he's going to play in this tour event as an amateur. I was trying to tell him last night, that's, that's all well and good. But the goal, in my mind, should be to get back to Pebble Beach. Now, he's here to play in the Pro-Am this week. But we have, in August, the United States Amateur. The year before we have the U.S. Open, uh, 2019 U.S. Open returns to Pebble. I think Tony's game is good enough to qualify to get here for the U.S. Amateur. No question. Uh, he's good enough to be here. Now, if you get into the Amateur and you get on a run, the top two finishers, the winner and the runner-up in the U.S. Amateur, get a bid for the following year to the Masters. Now, listen, the odds are, th these are long That'd odds. pretty cool. I'm not trying to put anything on the, on, on Tony's back here, uh, as tenuous as it is, but but that to me should be the goal. I know he's going to play in a tour event, but hey, let's get this game in shape to come back to Pebble, qualify, and maybe play in the U.S. Amateur, maybe make a run. And if that was the case, who knows? You know, again, the winner and the runner-up of the U.S. Amateur uh, gets an invitation to the Masters. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.